Call Racing has a new Xfinity driver for 2025, Zane Smith and Trackhouse. What's next for both of them? And Martin Truex Jr. talks about his Daytona 500 next season. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. I'm running on two hours of sleep in basically the last 36 hours. I'm jacked up right now. Let's talk about the driver news that happened on Friday. Zane Smith and Trackhouse probably had the biggest news of the day. Those two parties have agreed to mutually part ways at the end of the 2024 season. Of course, Zane Smith was on loan from Trackhouse to Spire Motorsports in 2024. That program, that 71 car, has had a pretty bad season so far. Over the last few weeks, months even, um, Zane and that 71 team have found speed. They had a runner-up finish at Nashville, which of course was caused by an abundance of overtime restarts. He had good speed last weekend at Michigan. Um, He has had speed over probably the last five or six races, maybe not the finishes that they deserve, but that experiment, the relationship between Zane Smith and Trackhouse will be no more at the end of this season. What does that mean for both of these parties? Well, for Zane Smith, He's likely headed to Front Row Motorsports. It was always Zane Smith. Sam Mayer's name was mentioned. People adamant on the internet. It's Sam Mayer's going to Front Row. Now, hey, he had conversations. He's not going there. This has been Zane Smith's ride for quite some time. I think all the way back to Chicago weekend, probably, is when I heard that that's where he was likely going there. So for for Zane, um, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, for him to go back to front row. He, of course, won a Truck Series championship with them. He made his first NASCAR Cup Series starts with them, got a top 10 with that same team back at the Coke 600 last season in 2023. For Zane, going back home, in a sense, to front row uh, is the most logical approach. Front row, of course, will be a Tier 1-4 team. Uh, Next year, Todd Gillen, Noah Gragson, and probably Zane Smith, from the sounds of it. For Zane, I think he is absolutely a Cup you know, cup caliber level driver. Uh, and I think that having a first year team over at front row or not front row over at Spire was maybe just not the best opportunity for him. It'd be interesting to see how it goes at front row next year. If he does in fact officially sign over there, what does this mean for track house? Well, uh, for, for Zane, it seemed like he was going to be the guy at track house, right? It, he said that this was the perfect fit for him. You know, when he thought about his future, he wanted to race for a team like track house. And after one year, it's gone because some mid thirties bloke from New Zealand came over and has absolutely captivated the NASCAR world. That being Shane Van Gisbergen fully expect SVG to be in a third track house car in 2025, uh, likely in house with the third charter that track house is going to purchase from the Stuart Haas racing fire sale. Uh, obviously SVG makes a lot of sense to move up and right now he gives you the best opportunity out of the two to win immediately right uh svg is going to be a monster he's a problem on road courses he's a guy that's going to go out there and could probably steal a win and get you locked into the to the playoffs and he has a good chance of doing that multiple times for zane it's a bit more of a toss-up, right? And I think that's the business approach that Trackhouse is taking in this situation. And, you know, I don't fault him for that. So uh, expect SVG to be over there next season. He also picked up a number of cup races to close out the year here. He is going to be running seven of the final 12 NASCAR Cup Series races in that six, 16 car for Colleg, likely in preparations for his full-time NASCAR Cup Series uh, season debut next year in 2025. Moving on to Colleg Racing, they made a driver announcement on Friday. Daniel Dye will be joining the Colleg Xfinity lineup full-time in 2025, driving the number 10 car. Dye, of course, has made select starts for the team this year. Uh, He has two top 10s in those seven starts, had a real good run at Michigan going before getting Wallace Allen there. But for Daniel, I think this is a great landing spot for him. He, of course, races for McAnally down in the Truck Series. He made the Truck Series playoffs for the first time which start this Sunday, 4 p.m., FS1 from the Milwaukee Mile. He's chasing his first truck championship, first truck series win as well, but he's a driver that we've seen develop, especially this year, into a guy that is going to be a threat for top 10s every single week, if not top fives. And, I mean, heck, he had a good runner-up finish at Nashville. If it wasn't for Christian Eck, is out there just absolutely smacking everybody into the dirt by dominating that entire race. So, for Colleg, love the signing for, for Daniel Dye. Um... Chris Rice did confirm that the 97 car is going away next year, that being the SVG car, because, again, we expect him to go up to the Cup Series. Uh, So that 97 team will essentially become the 10 team for 2025. Josh Williams will return to the number 11 car next year. 
Who replaces AJ Allmendinger in that number 16 car? Well, it seems like that's probably going to be Christian Eck. It just hasn't been announced yet. A lot of people on the internet continuing to be like, why are they only announcing Daniel Dye today? Well, because they were in Daytona. The Xfinity Series was uh, on Friday, and he's from DeLand, like 20 miles away. So you're going to announce that at his hometown race. Makes a lot of sense to do that. Moving on to the last bit of driver news today. Martin, today's video is brought to you by Driven Sunglasses. Head over to drivensunglasses.com today. Use code BREAKHARD at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. Great sunglasses. I am very partial to the Classic as well as the Camber. Neither of them are in my office right now. They are both downstairs because I wear them on a daily basis. So head over to drivensunglasses.com today. Code break hard at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. Derek Jr. talked about his chances of running the 2025 Daytona 500 today during his media availability. And he said, quote, deal's pretty much done. Um, he wouldn't go into the specifics, what team it was with, uh, you know, who it was with, but he did say that Joe Gibbs Racing was taking care of the details, which makes everybody believe that it will almost likely be guaranteed that it will be 2311 Racing that will field a car for Martin Truex Jr. in next year's Daytona 500. For Martin, of course, he came super close in 2016 to winning that race, losing out at the start finish line, uh, or the finish line, rather, to Denny Hamlin. So him coming back to run this race one more time just makes a lot of sense. And, you know, I'd like to see him win it or at least be in contention to win it. And those 2311 cars are very fast when you get to super speedways. So Martin Truex Jr. Uh, all but confirms that he'll be in next year's Daytona 500, which is a good thing for the sport, right? Martin's a good driver. Uh, Martin is the guy that has gone up there and done it the right way, I would say, um, past champion of the sport. So having more competitive cars in the 500 as well is never a bad thing. So let me know in the comments what you think about Zane Smith, Trackhouse, Shane Van Gisberg, and Daniel Dye, Call of Racing, Christian neck is um or even martin truex jr like and subscribe to the channel follow me on tiktok at break hard instagram twitter and facebook at break hard blog